Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a project that is both drawing and nature combined. Um, I did it with a pre-K class in Zoom this morning um, and I tried it out for myself yesterday and I think it's pretty interesting so I figured I'd share this as our project for today. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. So the way this works is um, you're using leaves to add pigment to the paper, green pigment. So leaves have what's called chlorophyll in them. That's what makes them green. And it's also the same stuff that attracts um, sunlight or captures sunlight, the energy from sunlight in leaves to help plants grow. So um, I did a couple examples. Um, there's this one, which is a super simple tree um, for younger students. Um, and if you want to get more complicated, you could add in branches. So here's kind of another example. So I'm going to um, show you a couple ways to draw trees and then uh, show you how to get the chlorophyll onto the paper. Um, and then you could try it for yourself. Um, so I'm going to turn my paper this way and do kind of smaller trees. Um, to show you a couple different ones. Um, let's see, make sure you can see this right. Okay, so I'm gonna start with super simple and kind of draw more complicated trees as I go um, over to the other side of my paper. You don't have to draw multiple trees, you can. Um, you don't have to draw all these trees. You can kind of pick what is your favorite or what you'd prefer to draw. So. I'm gonna just go ahead and draw a ground line all the way across so we kind of have somewhere to start. Um, first tree I'm going to draw is the, probably the simplest tree you can do. It's going to be two straight up and down vertical lines. Um, and then for the leaves, you can do just a circle or oval or you can do kind of like this um, bumpy circle or oval. Super simple, uh, basic tree. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot over and I'm gonna do another one. So we're gonna keep the same straight vertical lines. Now when we get to the top, we're going to do diagonal lines out. One on this side, one on this side. And then inside of this, we're going to add these to separate it, okay? Um, okay, I'm gonna try a V on one side and then I'm gonna show you a different way on the other side so you can figure out what's easier for you. So the V, one side's gonna follow this and the other side's gonna go up, okay? Uh, the other way you can do this, if that's too complicated, is just draw a line up and down. It's gonna leave a space between this diagonal line and then you're gonna draw another line that's parallel, which means going the same exact direction as this other um, diagonal line, it's kinda like that. From there, you could add on the circle, um, you could add on the wavy, um, bumpy circle, um, you could uh, add smaller branches. Um, I'm just gonna do this go through like this. Okay. Um, you can leave these open at the top or you could just do a little um, bumpy line at the edges to kind of show where it's going back into um, the tree leaves, okay? It's a little more complicated. Still looks like broccoli. <laughs> um, this next one is going to be curved lines. Um, so instead of doing straight lines, which are kind of easier to keep control of, we're going to do curved lines. So it's going to be a little bit wider at the bottom because the roots kind of spread at the bottom of the trunk because um, when they go underground, they're thicker. So curved in and then back out. Same curve kind of in, up, and then back out. Now from here, um, we're gonna do branches, and we're gonna do similar to the Vs, but we're gonna do kind of U shapes, and you're gonna decide how many you want. So actually, I'm gonna curve this out a little bit further. So at the end of branches, and these ones are gonna be smaller, I'm gonna do a curve in, curve out, okay? Curve in, curve out. And you're gonna do a bunch of these shapes, and that's going to make kind of the branch shapes. You could do little ones, big ones, you're still gonna curve in, curve out when you're ready, okay? Um, the kind of the shape of that curve will change um, and you can kind of decide that as
as you are creating um, your branches. So curve in, curve out, curve in, curve out, curve in, curve out, in, curve out. And you decide where these branches are going, how big they are, curve in and out, um, and how they sit. Um, <clears throat> this one, we're going to try to make the leaves a little more realistic. Now it's kind of big. It's taking up quite a bit of space over here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm still going to stick with these kind of fluffy shapes. It's going to be a lot of work to draw in all individual leaves. And um, with the leaf coloring that we're going to do, it doesn't really make sense. But I'm going to do wavy lines that are at the end of all of these branches. They're not going to all connect, okay? So I'll have one here. I'll have one here. And you can kind of decide which directions these go, how big they are, um, and they can kind of overlap each other. And this would be like the leaves, the greenery at the end of these branches here. Um, I'm just going to make this one go kind of behind this other one. OK, so that's kind of an even more complicated tree. Um, you can feel free to add other things to your trees, um, to your drawing. So if you want to add like a hole, maybe where a little animal lives, if you want to add maybe a little nest on a branch, um, or a bird on a branch, if you want to add other things to the ground, adding grass, adding flowers, um, completely up to you. Uh, the biggest part here is that we're adding green with leaves. So um, if you don't have access to leaves outside, that's fine. You can um, just use whatever coloring materials you have. But if you want to try this, it'll only work for green because the chlorophyll in leaves are green. So the way it would work is you're going to take your leaves. You can do a couple at a time, one at a time. Um, you're going to kind of rip them up, um, kind of bunch them together into like a little kind of circle, and then you're just gonna rub that. You gotta push kind of hard, okay guys? Rub that on, let me go close to see if you can see what I get there. You're gonna rub that where you want green. Um, it'll work better with leaves that are um, more green. Obviously the less green they have in it means the less chlorophyll they have in them. Um, so they probably won't color as well, okay? so. You're just gonna push, um, you could try this with a spoon. Um, the spoon, the back of the spoon would push against, it's not a little, not too close I think, and kind of rub from there. Um, it's kind of hard to keep it in one spot. You might do this with a whole leaf instead. You do have to push pretty hard, um, but it's gonna start to put that green onto the paper. Um, you could try different leaves. So the two I had, the other one was from a tree, and this one is from a rose bush. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of squish it up and then just rub. And it'll start to kind of color in. It is hard to control exactly where it goes, but you can get it roughly where you want it. Um, and that's kind of just an interesting way to use color. So if you don't have any colors at home, you can at least um, have some green from tree leaves you just have to be willing to make a little bit of a mess and you got to push pretty hard um and that's kind of just it um i thought it was interesting i had seen it um and there are a lot of trees starting to get leaves right now and some of you might not have colors at home so you could try this you would at least have green um so you'll draw the tree you want um, and then color, um, you can color the rest with crayons, markers, color pencils, whatever you have. Um, but the green, try to do with the leaves. So you can rub that chlorophyll from the leaves onto um, the paper, okay? So that's the project for today. Um, if you try it um, and you like how it comes out, upload it to Artsonia under color, color chlorophyll which is kind of spelled a little weird coloring okay chlorophyll coloring um 
and let me see the trees you drew. You could always do other plants. Um, you could draw anything really that needs to be green. Um, give this a try. If it doesn't work out, you don't have leaves, that's fine. You could always color with something else. Thanks, guys.